Avoiding ankle sprains. This is the topic of today's video. Get ready. So we've all been there. We've all been playing soccer and we roll over our ankle and suffer a ankle sprain. Today's video, we're gonna talk about the ways you can reduce your risk of future sprains and how you can avoid these nasty ankle injuries. So strengthening the ankle is going to be key. Those boring exercises like the calf raises, the four-way ankle with the bands, these are things you need to have as a staple in your ongoing maintenance program. Having an ankle that is strong and good with balance is going to be a vital component to keeping these nasty ankle injuries away. But the ankle itself is only one part of the puzzle. What you may not know is that you need to train your entire leg to be stable at one time. The hip, the knee, the ankle, and the core all work together to make you a well-balanced athlete. And oftentimes the ankle is the first joint to go in that chain. If you strengthen the entire leg as a unit, the entire leg actually gets better at balancing. This is one of the many reasons why single leg training in soccer players is absolutely essential to optimize both performance and ongoing health. If you think about it, everything we do in soccer is in a single leg position. Running, you're on one leg at a time. Striking the ball, one leg is on the ground. If you're a goalkeeper and you're making a save, chances are you're pushing off of, you guessed it, one leg. Training to be strong and stable in a single leg position is absolutely essential. Should you be using BOSU balls and foam pads to help improve your ankle stability? There is a time and place for these in any athlete's program. If you're early on in rehab and if you wanna reteach those fine-tuned muscles how to fire, I think that a foam pad or a BOSU ball would be a great idea. This may also be a great idea if you've chronically suffered multiple ankle sprains and you wanna integrate it into your daily regimen. But it is important to train on a flat surface with heavy loads in order to teach the leg how to stay stable under high stress situations. Lastly, ankle taping and ankle bracing may be something to consider if you're coming off of an injury. If you have a physio or athletic trainer with you or your club, they can help you make this decision. So I hope this video gave you guys some ideas on how to reduce your risk of ankle injury. If you have any comments, or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks and peace and love.